What would you have done if you discovered your 36-hour fly pushed you five years further in time? Would you be sad or excited? Welcome to Movie Recap World, where today we're going to recap the first episode of Manifest. This thrilling series follows a group of passengers who return home to discover that their loved ones have aged five years during their flight. In this episode, we follow the journey of the passengers on board flight 828, who take off from Jamaica. But when they land, they realize that five years have passed during their flight of just a few hours. On April 7, 2013, Michaela, a NYPD officer, is waiting for a flight back home from a family vacation. When they hear the announcement that their flight was overbooked, Michaela, her brother Ben, and his son Cal decide to stay back and wait for the next flight. The rest of the family catch their regular flight and after waiting for a few hours, Michaela, Ben, and Cal catch flight A28 to get back home. During their flight, the plane goes through extreme turbulence. The plane starts to move out of control and powers goes down. Luckily, the plane gets back to normal after a few seconds. Because of the sudden change in weather, the pilots are forced to make an emergency landing. However, after they land the plane, the passengers and crew of Flight A28 are met with police and NSA. After a little confusion between the two parties, the passengers are revealed that their flight had gone missing five years ago, and they were all presumed dead. Until their flight mysteriously landed just minutes ago, the passengers were in shock hearing this. The NSA interviews all the passengers and get the same answer that their flight felt normal except for the turbulence. After 36 hours of questioning, the passengers of Flight 828 are allowed to go and meet their loved ones, who are happy to see them alive after five years. Michaela hugs her father while Ben reunites with his wife Grace, who is confused to see her son exactly the same as she saw him last time. And shockingly, Ben is left shocked to see his daughter Olive. Also, Ben's twin sister has grown five years older. Michaela is later heartbroken to find out that her mother had passed away. After coming to terms with her mother's death, Michaela and Grace decide to let the past be forgotten and think of this as a do-over in their lives. Suddenly, Michaela hears her inner voice saying all things. Michaela doesn't give it much thought, but then she sees her mother's favorite Bible verse, Romans 8 to 8, all things work together for good. She later goes to her precinct in hopes of seeing her boyfriend Jared and getting back to work. There, she finds that Jared has been promoted to the rank of detective. Moreover, Jared had moved on from Michaela and gotten married with her best friend Lourdes. Heartbroken, Michaela furiously leaves the scene. Meanwhile, the time jump proved fruitful for Cal. As it turns out, in the five years he was gone, the doctors were able to find a treatment that has high chance of curing his leukemia. Ben and Grace are ecstatic to hear about this and think of it as a miracle. Back to Grace, she sees Jared on the news as he's leading the case of abduction of two young girls. She takes a bus back home, during which she hears her inner voice telling her to slow down. Instinctively, Michaela asks the bus driver to slow down and gets rejected. However, Michaela still hears her inner voice and loudly calls for the driver to slow down. Just then, the driver steps on the brake and stops the bus from running over a boy, trying to catch his ball. Michaela is left in shock with what just happened. She goes to Ben and tells him about everything that happened about hearing voices and saving a kid from getting hit by a bus. Ben credits it to the pressure she has been facing due to the changes in her life. He also asks her to keep her thoughts a secret, or she might end up in the government lab. Elsewhere, another passenger named Sanvi returns to a surprise welcome back party from her family and friends. Her colleague, Dr. Cardosa, greets her, and Sanvi immediately wants to get back to work on her research. However, Cardosa tells her that her research was completed five years ago, and with her help, they have been able to treat several cancer patients since the last three years. Back to Ben, he finds out through Grace that Olive has been seeing a therapist for the last five years to cope with the loss of her father. Ben is also struggling to cope with the reality that his daughter is now five years old. Meanwhile, Michaela yet again hears voices telling her to free some dogs behind a fence. At first, she ignores it, but later at night, she returns back to find Ben arriving to free the dogs just like she was going to. Ben then reveals that she has been hearing his own voices just like Michaela. Together, they let the dogs free, who calmly leave without hurting anyone. Next day, Jared finds out what Michaela and Ben did last night. He later confronts Michaela about her crime, who instead bursts out her feelings about everything that she had faced so far ever since she landed from that flight. Jared calms her down and comforts her before asking why she freed those dogs last night. 
Ben, on the other hand, goes to talk with Olive. He apologizes to her daughter for not being there in the last five years and promises to make it up to her. Meanwhile, Sanvi attends a meeting where candidates to receive a treatment from her research are being picked. Surprisingly, Cal's name shows up on the list of candidates, which Cardosa declines stating it's unusual case which might affect their study and success rate. However, Sanvi strongly vouches for Cal to be taken in for the treatment. Later in a private conversation, Cardosa reveals that they are about to be bought by a big pharmaceutical company and they can't take any risk before that or they'll be losing money. However, Sanvi still stands firm on her ground and is adamant to take Cal in. Elsewhere, the police were able to track the dogs and Jared asks Michaela to apologize to the owner of the dogs. But Michaela yet again hears her voice telling her to set them free. Jared returns the dogs back to the owner while Michaela stays outside to calm her mind. But she yet again hears voices and decides to give in. She follows the voice to a lock shed and tries to break the lock. Just when Jared and the dog owner arrive, Michaela breaks the lock which reveals the two abducted girls. Turns out, the dog owner was the man who Jared had been looking after in the case of the young girl's disappearance. Thanks to Michaela, the culprit gets arrested and Jared even credits Michaela for the success. Meanwhile, Sanvi was able to get Cal admitted for the treatment and his parents are extremely emotional about it. Later on, when Ben and his family are playing a game, Ben sees the news of the two girls being found. Grace, on the other hand, receives a message, seemingly from a mother. Olive sees this and asks her mother what she's going to do next. Ben later meets Michaela in the church where they doubt if they're the only ones hearing voices in their head. Turns out, all the passengers from flight 828 have been hearing voices since they landed from that mysterious flight. 20 of them hear the voices telling them to gather at a place from which they all witness the explosion of the plane, which carried them for five years. Thanks for joining us for our recap of the first episode of Manifest. As our passengers struggle to piece together the events of their missing five years, one question still looms large. What is the place? And what secrets does it hold? And that's not all. The mysterious voice in their heads and the unexplained time jump are just a few of the many questions that we can't wait to uncover in the next episode. Make sure you join us as we dive in deeper into the heart-pumping world of Manifest. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to support us liking and subscribing to our channel so you won't miss out on any of our videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time for another exciting recap here on Movie Recap World.